Hafide, you're watching Tango Talks, where we answer the burning question, how was that movie? I'm Constance. And I'm Jess. And today we're going to be talking about F9, the Fast Saga, and rewinding it back a little bit to talk about Disney Cruella, which are all now showing at the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theaters. So we're going to start off by talking about F9, the Fast Saga. Mm -hmm. Well, on this one, if you guys caught the trailer, it's all about Dom... And his brother Jacob, mm -hmm. who's played by John Cena. And basically, Jacob's the bad guy, and Dom's at it again with his crew, mm -hmm. trying to save the world, stop him. Uh, Jacob's also his younger brother, so... I know, I, yeah, thought he was, I thought he was the older brother. Yeah, right? They, he looks like the older brother. Considering how Dom is so into family matters, mm -hmm. you know? Or maybe it's just Vin Diesel's looking like he's getting a little old, but... <laughs> I don't know, but... We also played the whole F series bef leading up to F9. And you know, with F9, there were a lot of cameos. Yeah, so I've never seen any of the um, Fast and Furious films until this one. I mean, other than Hobbs and Shaw. So like, unfortunately, I didn't get to catch our road to F9 where we showed all the films in the past. I know, I know that look. But like, trust me guys, see the beauty of this, the beauty that I'm the one person who didn't get to watch the film or any of the old films is that like, I know that like, you'll be okay watching this movie without having to watch any of the old movies. Sure, you'll get a little bit confused because like I had my friend on the side telling me like, oh my God, they're from Fast 2, they're from Fast 3. Like there's so much more cameos he in this film. He didn't appreciate the cameos in this film. Let's, no. just, <laughs> let's just say that. I did it. And like, um, this isn't a spoiler because you guys saw it in the trailer. Apparently they brought back some dead guy. They brought back Han. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's interesting. Apparently they bring back a lot of dead people from what I can hear, but... <laughs> you watched the movie, I, I think they try to explain why they're not dead after all these... Yeah, and I think that's what's interesting to me because it's always like, when you bring someone back from the dead, it's like, how, how is it possible? You know what I mean? Like, there's only so much you can do. But then again, I'm still surprised that for nine movies, it was all about cars. Well, <laughs> this one, I think they really went all out action mm -hmm. all the adventure that they yeah. did the cars that they were using yeah guys, i really like that yeah so you guys should catch the movie it's now, now playing show, yeah at the micronesia mall stadium theaters tango talks is presented to you by pepsi as always the movies are better with pepsi tango talks is also brought to you by 76 circle k bring any of your filler up cups to refill at our snack bar three dollars for your drink and four dollars for your popcorn now let's rewind it back to Disney's Cruella that we got a few weeks back. Now, okay, I know we talked about this already, and I know you watched it, but I finally got the chance to watch it. And guys, even if you're watching it late, even though it's not premiere, I really recommend watching it because it was still, oh, I really love this movie. So throw away everything you know about the old Cruella, yep. because this isn't, like, it's a modern take on Cruella. Yep. And it's so interesting to see because, see, like, that's what I love about these origin stories. No one is ever a villain in their own story. Exactly. If you really look at everything from their perspective, you really see like, wow, this is why they're doing the things they do. And they kind of make you feel sympathetic for them. I mean, look what they did with Maleficent. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And it makes you feel like, oh my God, she's not the villain. I want to like just hug her and, you know, protect her because God, just everything, like the way these people are treated in these films, it just shows you like, damn, honestly, maybe I'd do it too. <laughs> But what do like, you think of Emma Stone? Uh, I love Emma Stone. For a second, I totally forgot like she was um also the same actress in La La Land. Oh yeah, yeah. Gosh, I loved La La Land. I'm like I was listening to the soundtrack this morning on my way here. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, just remembering it was her made me feel so good. But enough of that. But Cruella's such a baddie in this film, but not like a super baddie. Like those baddies you want to cheer on. Yeah, she's like my new Wanda Maximoff. Anyways, not going to talk about that, because, but it's really good. You guys should watch that. <laughs> what did you think of Emma Thompson as a villain? Who's Emma Thompson? She was the... Oh, the... the what's her name? The Countess? Yes. Oh, oh my or God. Or the Baroness. Baroness. Yes. Dude, okay, hold on. Like, while we're talking about the Baroness, like, it was very interesting to see her as a villain. First of all, Disney, like, was very dark in this one, so it's really good for all ages because, you know, I loved it, the kids will love it, or whatever. But also talking about them, the dresses in that film... Oh my god, it was so pretty. The wardrobe. Yeah, yes. the wardrobe. Oh, I love Cruella's take. And it, like, I don't know what time period it takes. Like, I'm assuming in the past, right? But, like, it, it's so modern. It's so, like, chic. Like, oh, 
the dresses were so pretty in that film. So come on, catch it, you know, bring your family, bring your kids. It's good for all ages. So yeah, come on and stop on by. Save the date for the 4th of July weekend as we release The Forever Purge and The Boss Baby Family Business. Tickets are now on sale for both. We can't forget the first Marvel film since Spider-Man Far From Home back in 2019. It's been two years since the release of a Marvel film and we can't wait for Black Widow, which is premiering on the night of July 8th. Follow all our social media accounts to stay tuned for advanced ticket sales. Trust me, they'll sell out fast. And maybe she'll be here to sell you some tickets. <laughs> our snack bar is now open, so grab your popcorn, Pepsi, and nachos on your way in. Don't forget to bring in your Alpha Big Bucket, refill it, and receive a dollar off your purchase. Also bring back any of our 76 Circle K Filler Up Cups and refill them for $7. $3 for your drink and $4 for your popcorn. While you're refilling your filler up cups, try out our Popcornopolis popcorn. We have the classic caramel, the dangerously delicious zebra, and the fruity unicorn flavors. We are proud to present Military Mondays, where all active duty military personnel and veterans receive a discount at both our box office and snack bar at Tango Theaters every Monday. Just show your military ID and we'll show you our gratitude. We missed you last year and we're excited to see you again for this year's free family movies. Come by every Tuesday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. to watch these movies for free. Here's our lineup for the next five weeks. It's kicking off this coming Tuesday, July 6th, with How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, followed by Sing the next day. And that's a wrap. We will see you at the movies. Bye, guys.